from the depths instant tutorial well hello and you're most welcome to from the depth with your host jimmedism this is instant tutorials and today we're going to talk about azipods and azipods is actually not the correct um, name for them azipods is a trademark and a company uh, instead they are called azimuth propeller pods and basically the reason why we do this is that we will be able to control forwards and azimuthal movement, basically yaw, uh, with the same unit. And it's very efficient and very nice and I have recently started to use them myself. So here I'm going to show you how to make them. This is a ship and it's just set up to be a normal ship with an engine and a ship movement. Under here we will be making our azipod. What you do is you go into sub-objects, get to the spin lock, um, click G to align it forwards and place it down. And if you do that, you can build it. Uh, you don't have to be upside down when building stuff like this, if you didn't know that. I learned it recently. Now, what do we need? Well, we don't need very many things. Basically, we just need a little thing that kind of sticks down, lets us attach some stuff. Then we'll need water propellers. And we're going to have a circular propeller that goes forwards and backwards. And we can have two of them here, so we can have a little double pod. What you also can do is you can go to steam engines, go to large crank motor, and then large shaft and then large uh, steam propellers. Uh, and this is a way you can do if you want some really big azipods. These are the units you will use. But for this design, this small one works perfectly. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go into the propellers, set to automatic, make sure it's forward, copy, paste, this one, manual, it going backward, perfect, that's correct, copy, paste. Now we only need to set up this little thing. On this spinner block, we'll need to check this and um, make sure it's rotate to angle. Then we'll go to angle control and we are going to do jaw. So uh, the jaw needs to be a, a smaller number. It's usually a negative jaw, so jaw left when we do it in this direction. And we can't set it to minus one. No, we need to set it to the amount of degrees we want to turn. So imagine that, uh, if you can probably see here, if we set it to one, we'll basically go around 180. So the most you could set them on is 0 0.5, but usually you would want them to perhaps maximum 45 degrees, which would be uh, this. 0.25 and then if you drop down it you can go here we can now try our steering when we press K we go this direction when we press H we go this direction so if we fire up our uh, propellers going forwards you can now see we are turning and uh, we of course need some <laughs> roll control on this thing this doesn't help you with the roll control, but it helps you like this. And after some stability added, you can see that we can control this thing perfectly finely, just turning from side to side. Now, if we want to have an azimuth in the front, what we need to do is to reverse the pitch angle setting, or I mean pivot angle setting. Uh, basically, if you go into here, angle control, jaw left, this needs to be jaw right uh, if we go for the one in the front. So we're adding a little new sub object here. Here we can see we paste the settings from the last one, go to angle control, just remove this little minus, go to uh, water, select a propeller, and put one here too, make sure we're manual. We can turn it from side to side and they are turning in different directions. And this also greatly helps with stability as you can see. Uh, 
So now we can be zooming around pretty quickly with not too many engine powers and not too many components. Just having two acipods like this and as you can see uh, the fact that we're having two acipods also decreases the roll movement the vehicles suffer because uh, the movements that are generated from the front and back one are somewhat cancelling out the wrong types of movements that we didn't want. So I hope that you have found this little instant tutorial useful and if you did please leave a like so that others can find this video and do check out my playlist of instant tutorials. If you want to support the channel there are some great options with uh, the most favorite one is becoming a commissioned officer in the army of Jimidism. Check out the link in the description for Patreon if you want to know more about that. This is your host Jimodism and we are signing out.